Hello, I'm Mel. I'm socialmediatraffic.com. This video is showing how to create a FileZilla server on your own computer. FileZilla server is a program that allows you to set up your own free FTP file transfer protocol server. Today we'll open a free open source server on your Windows PC with FileZilla for easy file transfers from any computer. Let's go to Google. We've typed in FileZilla server and we will click on this first item here. FileZilla server is only available on Windows so we'll click download now. Click I agree to the license agreement. We'll click next. Accept the destination folder and click next. Here is the default port and I'll install as service and start the server after setup completes. Next, click install. It's completed. Click close. To connect with the administration interface, here is your server address and here is your port number by default. Put in your administration password and if this is the only FTP server you'll be administering, check always connect to the server. OK. Now we have FileZilla server open. We want to create server users. Click on edit and go to users. When we want to add a user, we put the name in there. We enable account and we allocate a password and OK that. We go to shared folders. I already have these reports to share. If I wish to add more, click add and go to the appropriate place in my hard drive. And with these shared folders you can control the access which you think is appropriate. If you want to grant several users access to your server with all the same rights and directory access, instead of creating each one individually, you can set up a user group. We go back to edit, we click on groups. Here's a group which I have added, marketing group. Enable the access, select your settings, press OK. To log into the server, you would use FileZilla client or similar. In the host box, you would type in the default address. Or if I wish to log in from the internet, I could create a specific URL for my server. The username is the one set up in FileZilla's administration interface, not the server administration username. And for others, you've given each of them a specific username and a password to log in. Press quick connect. The port is automatic. Trust this is of use to you. For more social media traffic tips and strategies you may go to my website.